Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the principle of operation 3 phase induction motor. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, 3 phase induction motor working principle. It works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. When there is a, when a 3 phase supply is given to the 3 phase stator winding, rotating magnetic flux RMF is produced. So it is based on the electromagnetic induction. The rotating magnetic field is produced in the stator while giving the supply. Now we will refer the diagram. So this is the stator, stator available. This is the rotor conductors. So initially we are giving the supply to the stator winding. So due to that the rotating magnetic flux, the flux is keep on changing because of three phase AC supply, the voltage level keep on changes. So the flux produced in the stator due to the three phase winding that also keep on changing that is called a rotating magnetic flux. Initially these rotor conductors are in a stationary, stationary position, it is not rotating, stationary position. So this, road, this magnetic flux is link with the link with the stationary conductors. So what will happen when a conductor cuts the magnetic flux and EMF is induced right based on the principle this conductor this magnetic flux cut the conductors. Initially this conductor is a stationary there no current is flowing in the rotor conductors. This magnetic flux will cut this conductors. So, when a conductor cuts the magnetic flux, what will happen? The EMF is induced in the rotor conductors. These rotor conductors are in a closed circuit. So, the current will start flowing through the rotor conductors. So, refer this diagram. So, this dotted line is indicate the direction of current in the rotor. Initially, there is no current. So, after the interaction with the magnetic flux, EMF is produced. This EMF will circulate the current in the rotor because of closed circuit that is indicated in this diagram. Now what will happen? This rotor conductor become a current carrying conductor. Initially stationary conductors because of interaction of the flux, the current is flowing. So it is a current carrying conductor. When a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field due to the law of interaction, when a current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic, what will happen? It experiences a force. So that is given in the third diagram. So this is the flux direction. This is the direction of the force, right? When a current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field, it experiences a force. So all conductors are connected together. So the force give force by the all conductor will tends to rotate the rotor. The rotor starts rotating, right? So this is the basic principle of the induction motor. Initially, the supply is given to the stator, so the rotating magnetic flux is produced. This flux cut the rotor, rotor, conduct, rotor conductors. Due to that, EMF is produced. That EMF will circulate the current. Now, the current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field. Due to this, it will experience a force, so it will start rotates. Right? So, this is the basic principle. Now, we will see the description. We will see what is the speed of the rotor and other things. The speed of the rotating magnetic field is synchronous speed ns. Right? The speed of the stator is the nothing but synchronous speed. How we will calculate the synchronous speed ns equal to 120 f by p. All are constant. Frequency is constant and number of pole is constant. So from that we can find the synchronous speed. Synchronous speed means the speed at which the motor is designed. Right? It is based on the supply frequency and number of poles. Let the direction of rotating magnetic field is in clockwise direction. We will consider clockwise direction. Right? Now the, now the rotor is stationary. Stator magnetic field is revolving at a speed of ns. This revolving field cut the stationary rotor, rotor conductors. When a conductor cuts the magnetic flux and EMF is induced in the conductor. When there is a closed path, current start flowing to the EMF, right? So initially, the rotor is stationary. This rotor conductor cut the magnetic flux, so that EMF is induced. That EMF will circulate the current because of closed circuit. 
Now what will happen? Now we have current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field. By law of interaction, when a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, the conductor experiences a force. Hence, all the conductor experience a force which together give a torque which tends to rotate the rotor. So, due to the experiencing the force, all the all the conductors are having the together connected together. So, it will start to rotate with the required torque. The direction of force is same as that of rotating magnetic field. Hence, the rotor start rotating in the same direction as the magnetic field. The rotation of the rotor and rotation of the rotating magnetic field in the stator both are in same direction. Now, we will see the speed of the rotor as well as the speed of the stator. This is a very important thing. Ns is the speed of rotating magnetic field in RPM. That is the speed of the rotating magnetic field. But N is the speed of the rotor. This is the actual speed of the motor. This is the speed at which the motor is designed. This N is the speed of the rotor or actual speed of the motor. The difference Ns minus N is nothing but relative speed between the two, between the stator and rotor, Ns minus N. The rotor always rotate in the same direction as that of rotating magnetic field, right? Ns minus N is the relative speed. Now, we'll have, now we'll see, analyze that. What will happen if Ns equal to N? Ns is the synchronous speed and n is the actual speed if both are equal whether it is possible possible to have the synchronous speed and speed of the rotor when the rotor rotates it try to catch the speed of the rotating magnetic field the rotor will try to catch if it is catches the speed of rotating magnetic field then the relative motion of the is zero that is n s minus n both are equal means it become zero Therefore, the relative motion in the main cause for EMF is also zero because if both are equal mean both have equal speed mean the relative speed is zero. So, the relative thus the relative motion that is the important cause for EMF is also zero. So, the rotor flux required to produce torque is also zero. Therefore, the rotor will not rotate. If both are equal what will happen? the relative speed becomes zero, EMF becomes zero, so the torque produced also zero, the motor will not rotate. So, the induction motor never runs at the synchronous speed. That is the important thing. The induction motor never start, runs at the synchronous speed. The speed at which the motor rotate is called a sub-synchronous speed. It is always sub-synchronous speed or otherwise it is so due to that is called a asynchronous motor. We have synchronous motor available, always rotating in the synchronous speed. But this one, this induction motor never run at the synchronous speed. So, that is called a asynchronous motor. If it is rotated at synchronous speed, what will happen? The rotor will not rotate due to the relative motion is zero. So, in this video, we discuss about the working principle of three-phase induction motor based on the rotating magnetic field of the stator. Then the rotation of the rotor. If both are equal, what will happen? That also discussed. Finally, we see that it is a asynchronous motor. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.